So let's find out with Chris Mason and Matthew Edgar. Yeah, this is sort of a win for Martin Adams would sort of pull him a little bit too far out of the way. So sort of a must-win game here for Robert Thornton. And he certainly has been going on the upwards curve for the whole of today and the last couple of games yesterday. Keep going back to his words, disastrous day one. But he didn't put it right at the start of day two. He sort of found that in the middle part of day two. And he said in his interview he lacked rhythm and touch. And that is something we're seeing very good from him today. Very good pace about what he's doing. Yeah, he's he's basically established a, a routine where he's he's not first chasing the Robert opponent of the first. hockey. He's making sure they're out of the way on. so he can address the hockey and, and throw, and that's what he likes to do. You can see he does the same thing over and over, foot down, foot back, bang. And that works for him as he hits a one. <laughs> 121. Perfectly. Yeah, win here for Martin, and you go to 16 points, and even if he wins 4-3, you go to 16 points plus 12. That's eight in front of his nearest rival, obviously taking away Thibaut Chacol. So I think we'll win for Martin, and he's in Group B. Yeah, I've been banging on all day about Robert 85. Thornton and the level of performances we're getting from him, but it's... Can't be gone without saying about Martin Adams as well. A very, very good, solid performance throughout the day for him. He's had two 4 0 victories. One against the group winner, Thibaut Tricol, averaging 98 in that one. One against Jay Zeus, who we've just seen put in that 100 average, 93.94. So we could call that a 94. 85. Agreed. And then an 86 against Matt Jackson. So his daily average is well over the 90. Yep. And that is rock solid. One hundred and forty. Ninety five. One hundred. Robert, you require one hundred and fifteen. 99. Martin, you require 141. As we mentioned, in the only couple of days, these two competed this year in two real high profile TV matches in the 78. World Series. Robert, you require 60. One in a final that Thornton pretty much dominated. No score. A much tighter affair in the final semi final Martin, you of the match play, wasn't 63. it? 63. Will they lock horns again in February when the World Seniors Darts Championships returns at the Circus Tavern? Tickets available. Dartshop.tv. Be quick. Double 16. 47. He sort of Robert, you require 60. That Martin Adams just sort of ran out of steam a little bit, didn't yeah. he? Game point. shot on the first leg. Robert Thornton. 19 dart hold for Thornton after a missed dart at double 16. Second leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. Martin Adams took him all the way in the world match play seniors up in Hull. It was yeah, nine, nine seven. seven, yeah. I think the surprise package was David Cameron, wasn't it? I th he went to the he was he'd been playing in the super series and then went to the qualifiers, won that, and then went 85. on to win the it's the Masters, wasn't it? World Seniors Masters. Yeah, and we saw quite good, really, from the qualifiers, didn't we? We saw some good performances. Richie, Richie Housen, probably yeah, standout. Got through and really produced some good stuff there. Ex Tour card holder himself. And I do believe the qualifiers are coming up pretty soon for the <laughs> World Championship. The 12th and 43. the 13th of November. Entries close tomorrow, Thursday the 10th. So if you want to have a crack at getting into that Seniors World Championship, if you're over the age of 50, you've got until tomorrow at midnight. Okay, your entry is... 140. 
Forty thousand pounds is the carrot dangled at the end of the rainbow. Martin, you require one hundred and twenty-one. Oh, spend it on probably another car, or maybe some Edgar TV merchandise. Certainly not the pants. Ninety-seven. Good response from Martin. Twenty-four after twelve. 81. Martin, you require 24. 24. Game shot on the second leg. leg. Martin Adams. Oh, Wolfie, 13 dart hold to respond to the disappointment of having a dart to win. Leg Third one. leg, it's Robert to throw first. Game on. If you do want to keep up to date with all your ticket information and announcements regarding the World Seniors. They're very active on social Hold media. Team. You can get them on Twitter at Seniors Darts. Make sure you put the S in. Seniors Darts. Not Senior Darts. And there was another. an announcement recently, wasn't there? About another few invites. A couple of events as well. We're going to four events now, so four major events. So plenty of opportunity for some TV time for the Seniors. 85. Added to the lineup. Kevin Painter will be there. Yourself will be there. We've got some international flavour as well. Coach Stompe. 45. Roland Scholten. Ronnie Baxter coming into this. He played really well at their, the senior match play, actually. He played a really good game. I believe it was with Terry Jenkins. Correct. Les Wallace also back. And the ultimate wind-up, Peter Manley. It's not one dart anymore, 36. Is it? Sorry, Peter, couldn't resist. Go Stompe, he's going to excite a few players, a few people. He's very popular. Faulty. In his day? Well, I was impressed with Roland Shorten. I've not seen him play. I've seen Roland a few times in the World Championships when he was working for a, one of the broadcasters, one of the Dutch broadcasters, but his throw looked exactly the same. 180! A tripod. 100. Martin, you require 100. Be able to see the Keith Della red trousers again. Tops. Eighty. Well, Robert, you require one hundred and thirty six. Ninety six. Martin, you require twenty. Martin, going along very nicely again here, Matt. Averaging, well, prior to that miss, 95.67. <clears throat> no score. Robert, you require 40. Well, he could or should have been. Three zip up. He might find himself 2-1 down. Game he will shot find the himself 2-1 down. Thornton. Did a Chris Mason there as well for the sorry I won a leg. <laughs> It's not an apology, it's just an acknowledgement of my fortune. Fourth leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. We mentioned about Group B and Group C and the numbers, the, the percentage chances, the times. But let me just tell you who's going to be taking part in those groups as well. So tomorrow morning and Friday morning, that's Group C. That's 100. where places four, five and six from Group A will be going. They'll be joined by David Wozuki, someone we've seen here before, played 52 matches in this discipline. 100. And they're also going to be joined by two debutants, Cam Crabtree, but also Scott Taylor. Now, Scott Taylor, when we look at a debutant, he's a lot more experienced than someone you'd normally put down as a debutant. We've seen him on the PDC tour, and he did quite a few bits on the BDO tour as well, and he's currently playing on the Challenge tour. Recently made a final, I believe, on the Challenge tour as well. So, lots of pedigree there in Scott 30. Taylor. And then we've got what can only be described as a very experienced evening session in terms of this format and this discipline. 
Justin Smith, young lad from Wales, recently won a Challenge Tour event himself. 100 games in this discipline. Stephen Burton, someone who's a danger on every single week he plays. And the London County captain, Lee 100. Cox. Martin, you require 81. Route one darts. Oh, now he's just realised. Fifty-six. He still went for it. Well, I suppose if you can't hit a double, and he's only one from seven on those, you might as well have a pop at the ball. One hundred and forty. Martin, you require twenty-five. Double eight. Level game. Game shot on the fourth dark, leg. Super adjustment. Martin Adams. And Martin Adams on his two winning legs, 13 and 15. He's absolutely mustered when he can hit a double. Fifth leg, it's Robert to throw first. And Robert Game Thornton's off. avoided the 4 nil, so Martin Adams isn't going to get a 4-0 victory over everybody, but can he avoid the 140. defeat? 140. He will have the advantage of throw. It's essentially just a best of three. He doesn't have too much more to do to avoid the L. But Martin certainly likes dishing them out. 140. Thornton. He's found his mojo. One hundred. I have a feeling Martin wants this one. He's absolutely hundred percent committed and focused. One hundred and twenty-five. Sure, both of them will benefit from the lighter schedule of Group B. It's only one game, but that one game makes a big difference because it means that all your matches also bunch together. You're not sat around. One hundred. Be sat Robert, for you three require matches. ninety-six. Yeah. Quick fire stuff on the Thursday and Friday night. 56. Suits the Martin, you require 161. Oh, can he be his highest finish ever? And that average from Jesus Nogueira was a personal best for him. PB 100. for that was just over 98 Robert, you require before. 40. Game shot on the fifth Thornton. leg. Robert Thornton. Shooting in with a 14. Every leg somehow has gone with throw. Sixth leg. It's Martin to throw first. That continues. Game on. I'm going to say Robert is going to be strong favourite because when it goes to a seventh leg, when Robert Thornton throws first, he has won 26 times out of the 38 games that have gone the distance. That is a 100. very healthy return. Serves it out. I want it to be over here. Yeah. 140. Only you like to go to a last leg. Like to get me money's worth. <laughs> I'm like that with golf. I don't understand why they pay all that money to play on a beautiful golf course and get off as quick as possible. I stay out there for hours. 100. And see pretty much every part of it. One hundred. <clears throat> uh, tried to get into golf myself. Gave it a few goes, but could never get past the clown. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Martin, you require one hundred and sixty-one. On one six one. Both have got there with two tons and a one forty apiece. Ninety-nine. 
Robert, you require 161. 60, 51 ball is the traditional route. 91. Martin, you require 62. Now, this is one of them finishers I've been saying all week. Looks simple in numbers. 62. Doesn't seem like much, but unless you get that treble first dart, you might only get a dart of the double. That's not a problem for Martin Adams. He's hit the treble 10. Game shot on the, the sixth leg. Well, which takes Martin us all the way to the side in leg where, let me remind you again, Robert Thornton has been 38 times in his Super Series career. Seven and final leg. It's Robert to throw first. Times Game on. He has served it out and won the match. Winning legs for Martin in this match. 13, 15 and 15. 60. Robert, 19, 20 and 14. 19, 19 and 20 dart holds a throw of what has cost Martin so far in this match. Not been able to take advantage. 180. That is the third max. It may well turn out to be the most important one of them all. 60. <coughs> he says he's not been able to take advantage. Robert Thornton open with a 60. And Martin Adams trebling that with the max. This is taking serious advantage. And not only that, he's on the nine data again. 140. Go all the way twice before and just miss out on the double twice before as well. 121. A massive advantage here. 80 points plus what is in his hand. If you can just find one treble here. Eighty five will do. As you say, in that position, it's just about picking off the one wrong of the one that trouble. One hundred and forty. Martin, you require ninety six. In the balance. Gotta stay there. It's a good guide. For me. Right to stay there. 56. You're going to put Robert, Robert you require 120. In a situation where he has to dig something out, you'd say it'd be the 120, it'd be the most likely. 100. I'm almost right on cue. Martin, you require 40. Game shot. It's and time the match. to get out the abacus Adams. and just make sure. But I think that puts Martin Adams through into Group B to join Andy Hamilton. We'll get confirmation of that very soon with Chris Murphy up on the balcony. But the main thing is the result there. Martin Adams, we said we've kind of bigged up Robert Thornton quite a bit, but Martin Adams kind of just gone about his business today and he's been very very solid at four wins from four he's well over the 90 average for the day and he confirms that again with a 96 for robert thornton we now move into our final lap of fixtures and the first game of that rap lap will be jesus nagara versus matt jackson